In this video, I'll be comparing the new Bauer brushless impact driver to my Ryobi OnePlus HP impact driver. I have a four amp hour battery in the Ryobi OnePlus HP. That battery is fully charged. I have a five amp hour battery in the Bauer brushless. That battery is fully charged. Let's get some specs on these two impact drivers. First, we're gonna start with weight. The weight of the Bauer impact driver with the five amp hour battery is three pounds, 15.9 ounces, or 1,810 grams. The weight of the Ryobi OnePlus HP plus the four amp hour battery is three pounds, 14.2 ounces, or 1,762 grams, 2,981. 2780. The Bauer is roughly five and a half inches long. With the battery, the tool is 10 and a quarter inches tall. The Ryobi is five and a half inches long. With the battery, it's about nine and three quarter inches tall. I built this little apparatus to put on the back of these impact drivers or drills, if I use those in the future as well, where I can put a weight on the back of the impact driver so it has a uniform force pushing it down into the board. Now, a lot of you have said that you don't really require much force once these lags hit the wood and bite, they kind of drag into the wood itself. But I know that we all put some force on an impact driver or drill. Even if we have a lag screw that's being put in, typically we still put some force on there. I wanna make sure that the test mirrors an actual usage as much as possible, but stays uniform. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put five pounds of weight on this. We're going to drive in the six inch I think these are 5 16 lag screws. I was going to do a test where our impact drivers ran these lag screws in, but it kept turning them into this instead. Just a little bit too powerful. So I'm going to get this big lag screw right here. We're going to drill a 3 8 pilot hole and see if each one of these can drill this thing all the way down into both of these plus another board that I'm going to add. One, two, three. Got it. One, two, It did it, but it also started splitting it a little bit here at the top. Not too bad though. You see it coming apart a little bit. It seems like both of these impact drivers are pretty evenly matched. Roby is a little bit lighter. It seems like it's a little bit easier to handle as far as just the ergonomics of it. So that's, that's nice. It's a little bit of an advantage there. The Bauer has a much better light on the front of it. It has that little tri-beam style light on the front of it, which I think is really, really nice. It's a lot better than these lights they put like at the base of the drill. I'd rather have the tri-beam lighting. Overall, they're pretty evenly matched. If I had to pick one, I think I'd probably go with the Roby still, just because it's a little bit more comfortable to use, it seems like. But it's a pretty tight race. For those of you who have these tools, what do you think of them? Which one would you choose? For those of you who were looking to buy an impact driver, of these two, this one's $49 bare tool. I don't see this one as a bare tool very often. I bought it as a kit. 
but I bought it at Direct Tools for like a, just over $100 with the drill, but it was factory blemished and it was on sale. So typically it would be a little bit more expensive, probably closer to 150 to 200 for that same kit. So the Bauer's cheaper, but they're not sold as a kit typically. So it's kind of a give and take with the pricing. It may seem like the Bauer's cheaper but when you put it all together. A lot of times it's not actually that much cheaper, if at all. That's it for today, guys. A little impact driver showdown. We'll do some more in the future. I'll see you guys on the next one.